week seven of the fantasy baseball season. And here's a few pitches I look to drop this week. The first guy, Reed Detmers. The Los Angeles Angels, so last season he was pretty decent, Reed Detmers, for the Angels in fantasy baseball, including throwing a no-hitter, but so far this season he's not going deep into games, and his ERA is pushing a 5 on the year, 35 innings, 0-3 record, 41 Ks, 4.89 ERA, a 1.51 whip, and one quality start on the season, so not going deep into games, no wins under his belt over there for Detmers. And that's not going to get the job done. So 10 and 12 team leagues, I think fantasy owners could drop Detmers right now. He could definitely turn things around, but he's not bringing much, especially the last few outings. April 29th at the Brewers, four and a third. Got the loss, four hits, four runs. Three walks in that one, six Ks. May 6th versus the Rangers, four innings. Got the loss in that game, seven hits, three runs, two walks, seven Ks. And May 13th at the Guardians, five innings, no decision. Six hits, two runs, two walks, three Ks. So pretty much his best outing of the season was that Guardian outing. And he still only went five innings in that one with the six hits and the two runs. This Angel team, we know they got an explosive offense. We know they could give pitchers run support. But right now, Detmers, he's going four or five innings. And he's not doing anything for fantasy. So right now, while he's struggling, he's a pretty easy pitcher to get away from this week and drop the next guy, A.J. Puck, of the Miami Marlins. So Puck, he got off to a nice start in the early going but now he has elbow or nerve irritation and that's obviously not a good thing for a pitcher so right now in the season for puck 14 and two thirds three and one record six saves 19 k's a 307 era 1.23 whip so right now he was getting opportunities with this Marlin team former top prospect for the oakland athletics but unfortunately now he's got the injury and closes they're not really guys unless it's an elite closer and he's only going to be out a few weeks i'm going to stash on my injury list even if puck comes back in 15 20 days he's still not a player i would hold on to dylan floro looks like he'll be the closer over there in miami and we know this marlin team is not a good team either on the 500 this season and a team that's not going to get that many wins so right now if you need a closer you pick up his replacement dylan floro and Puck's not a pitcher I'm going to be waiting on. And who knows, this injury could linger and be a whole season thing for all we know with all the elbow injuries and the Tommy Johns pitches of having to go under already this season. So right now, while he's out and close, it's not a huge necessity, I believe, anymore in fantasy baseball besides the top five, eight players at the position. Puck is a pitcher I would drop this week. The next guy is Jason Adam, another closer of the Tampa Bay race of Fairbanks. He's going to come back here tonight off the injured list versus the New York Mets. And Jason Adam, he's been pitching solid for the most part here. 17 innings, 0-1 record, 5 saves, 20 Ks, 1.59 ERA in a 1 whip. But Fairbanks, we know, is the closer over there for this Tampa Bay Ray team. And right now, Jason Adam, he's going to most likely go back into a 7th inning, 8th inning role, or even a mop-up role at times. Because this Ray team, we know... Not many players have roles on this team. It's a lot of mix and matching, a lot of throwing guys into different situations. But Piet Fairbanks obviously was the closer over the last couple seasons for this Ray team. And I believe he's going to come back here tonight. And if it comes down to a ninth inning decision here, we, it's a save opportunity. I think Fairbanks is going to come back. And he came back pretty close, quick here, is Fairbanks, with the minimum stay on the injury list. So right now, so far in the season, Fairbanks had three saves. And they're going to put him right back in that closer role. So Adam filled in pretty solid for Fairbanks. But now Fairbanks is back and Adam's not going to have any value unless you have holds in your fantasy league or you just like having relievers on your team and not wanting your ERA to go up by having a lot of starters. Next pitcher is Hayden Winensky of the Chicago Cubs. So Winensky, he had a pretty decent run, I believe, with this Cub team. But in the overall numbers haven't been great when it's all said and done. 39 in the third, 2-2 two two record. 28 Ks, a 5.03 ERA, 1.32 whip and three quality starts. So right now, it looks like Kyle Hendricks will come back for the Chicago Cubs team sooner than later after he's been on rehab the last couple weeks in the minors. And Brent Brown's another top prospect down there as well in the minors at 27th versus the Padres. Five innings, got the win, four hits, a run, a walk, three Ks in that one. May 2nd at the Nats, six innings, no decision. Five hits a run, two Ks in that one, a quality start, a run given up. And May 7th versus Miami, six innings, no decision again. Five hits a run, two walks, a quality start. And May 7th versus the Marlins, six innings in that one, five hits a run, six Ks, a quality start. And May 13th in Minnesota, he got racked five innings, got the loss, 
seven hits, seven runs, and walk five Ks. So that last bad outing is what got him called down to the minor leagues. And like I said, Hendricks is going to come up. I think we'll see Wenenski back in the major leagues sooner than later. So right now, already dropping 13% of fantasy leagues with the news coming out yesterday that he was going back to AAA. But like I said, this Cup team needs some starting pitching. I know they got some veterans in Strowman and Smiley. Hendricks will be there as well. But they could use help in the back end, and I think that's what Winensky could do for this ball club. So he'll go out there a few weeks in the minor leagues, and I think he'll be back with an injury or whatever the case may be. But right now, he's not really a pitcher I would stash. He's not a top pitching prospect in the major leagues, but definitely someone to keep an eye on in the coming weeks, coming back to the majors. And the fifth and final pitcher I look to drop this week here is Kyle Gibson of the Baltimore Orioles. So Kyle Gibson... We know he's been in innings either throughout his career, but pretty much a guy with a mid-4 to early-5 ERA throughout his career the last few seasons. On the year, 52 innings, 4-3 and three record, 36 Ks, a 4.67 ERA, a 1.40 whip, and 4 quality starts. So he, the ball's in play a lot versus Gibson with only 36 Ks, 52 innings, and he's never been a big strikeout pitcher throughout his career. In the last couple weeks here, he's been... Hit pretty badly, 17 and two thirds. 0 and 3 record, 9 Ks, a 6.11 ERA, a 1.58 whip and a quality start. So, right now, Kyle Gibson, I don't think he'll have any fantasy value. He's going to have the ERA mid fours and fives, like I said, especially category leagues. He's definitely not a play I would want on my team, or even points leagues for the most part. Maybe Roto, you would want him with the deepest of leagues, but right now, he's not done anything pretty much. May 3rd at the Royals, 6 and two thirds, got the loss, 10 hits. Six runs. May 8th versus Tampa, six innings, got the loss. Six hits, two runs, two walks, four Ks, a quality start. And May 14th versus the Pirates, five innings, got the loss in that one. Four runs, seven hits, three walks, five Ks. So Gibson, only two quality starts in the last six outings here for him. He's an innings eater, I know that, but he's going to give up runs. He's going to give up a lot of contact. And you don't strike out a lot of batters. If there's a good matchup on the schedule for him, yeah, you could use him as a spot starter as Gibson. But right now, he's not really a guy I'm going to want on my roster this week, even though I know this Baltimore team is playing good baseball. But Gibson is a pitcher I would drop this week. So that's a few pitches I look to drop here for week seven of the fantasy baseball season.